not even gonna hold y'all, bro. I'm gonna start this video straight off the top, man. If you ain't subscribed, man, hit that subscribe button, bro. I'm not playing with y'all niggas, man. If y'all niggas want me to come kill y'all, I will kill y'all, bro. I'm not playing. Hey, man, what's up, man? This is your boy Corey Hanson, man, with a splat face. It's your boy Corey Hanson, man. I'm back here with another video, man. So you already know how this shit goes, man. This is another ranking of artist music. We don't have any artists. This is somebody different. We got Tyler, the creator, man. Everybody give him a round of applause, man. Yes, yes, Tyler, the creator, man. This is a GOAT, in my opinion. Probably one of my favorite rappers. Definitely out there, been a rapper for fan. For, been a fan for years, man. This has been somebody that, like, from Law the Squad to just a classic albums he got on his belt, man. But today, we'll be ranking on albums under his belt. So y'all already know, man, you know how this goes, man. If you're new here, man, hit the subscribe button. Like I said at the beginning of the video, man, hit that subscribe button. We're gonna start a video off like that. If you old here, hit that subscribe button, man. If you think you saw this video before, hit that subscribe button, man. Like y'all already know how this shit goes, bro. I ain't wasting no time, man, all 2023. Now, ain't gonna lie, man, y'all been running the views up on these videos like crazy, bro. But YouTube blacklisted my last video. The Double SL video, they put a the video practically blocked. So that mean probably only a few people saw it. Some people probably didn't see it. Hey man, but if you ain't seen that video, go watch that video right now. Go run that video some more and get that video to um, just get it to a lot of views. But hey man, I ain't gonna really waste no time in this video, man. We gonna jump straight into this man catalog, man. So what we ain't gonna do, we not gonna do Baxter. We not gonna do Baxter, man. We not gonna do that because like I just feel like there's a mixtape. We only doing albums that's on Apple Music, that's on streaming services. We ain't doing nothing that's other than that. So, hey, man, y'all get this video a bit done up, man. We're finna get ready to start with the first debut album from Tyler, and that would be no other than Tyler would drop his first studio album, The Goblin, in 2011 on May 10th. Which is, nigga, is that today? Wait, no, that's not today. It was a couple days ago. So, Tyler would drop his first studio album, Goblin, on May 10th, 2011. This would be the studio album for Tyler the Creator that would drop. And this would be the album that spawned songs like Yonkers. She with Frank Ocean. This is a top tier album. Now, I ain't gonna lie. This album is, is the start of Tyler Run. Like, the start of Tyler becoming his own. Not gonna lie, the production on this album is there. Like, the production is there, but the beat selections get a little repetitive for me. I ain't gonna lie. This is really not Tyler's best album. I ain't even gonna hold you. This album, low key, is kind of low on my ranking. Like, she is a top tier song to me. It, it's a top tier song to me. It just, Tyler just talk about the most weirdest shit on here, bro. Like, if you listen to Trunk Cat by itself, like, that song right there will already be, would just be, like, a song that'll make you question. So, I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm gonna have to put this album in D tier, man. It's not really the best album, but it got a few good songs. Like, Trunk Cat would definitely get a replay. She get a replay. Yonkers, it's a little overrated for me, but it get replay value for me. This Loki really not the best album for Tyler. Like, it just not. I genuinely fuck with Wolf. Like, I genuinely fuck with Wolf. Like, this is top tier Tyler, bro. Like, this is Tyler and his bad. But nah, man, the second album of Tyler would be Wolf Haley that dropped April 2nd, 2013. Now, this low key was a huge step up to Goblin. Like, way better than Goblin. It definitely was a huge step up production. Tyler was really spitting on this album, bro. Like, he was really spitting. Now, I ain't gonna lie, when I first listened to it, like, a couple years ago, it was like. And it's okay, but going back to it after all the years of re-listening for this video, I ain't gonna lie, this shit gas, nigga. Answer is still top 10 in my, like, favorite Tyler songs catalog. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This album going to be tier for sure because this is really a good album. Really good put together album. Like, there's no more you can say about it, bro. Like, Tyler was really spitting on this album, bro. Like, he, he was going off on this album, bro. Like, I ain't even gonna hold him. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? What the fuck, bro? What the fuck, bro? Cherry Bomb. This will be the third studio album by Tyler the Creator that will drop on April 13th, 2015. Not gonna lie, this album ain't as bad as people make it to be. Like, it's definitely not good, though. Like, this shit is not good, bro. This shit is doo doo, bro. I ain't gonna lie, you ever listen to this shit in headphones, bro. I advise you not to do that shit, bro. This is literally distorted music. At the highest, bro. But I ain't gonna lie, this one got a, this album do got a couple good highlights, though. You Death Count is definitely top 10, like, definitely a top song for Tyler the Creator. Fucking Young with Charlie Wilson is definitely a perfect song that, like, that just represents this album. And I, I ain't gonna lie, this definitely, 
was low key uh, a horrible album, bro. Like, I'm definitely gonna put this shit in F tier. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. And I ain't trying to be one of them people that just that just think it's just bad because everybody always rank it low in his discography. This album was genuinely trash, bro. Like, this shit was trash, bro. Like, it's, it's really no more you can say about this shit. Like, I see the direction he was trying to go for with this album, but it just don't go well, bro. Like, hearing that shit in headphones, bro, my ears were fucking bleeding, bro. Like, I'm not even capping when I say that. My ears were literally bleeding, bro. Like, this album was horrible, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, Tyler could have definitely should have kept the shit in the vault. Give my nigga another round of applause, y'all. Y'all give my That's nigga right, it's the applause. GOAT! The GOAT! <laughs> Flower Boy. This is beautiful. Beautiful put together work. A beautiful masterpiece put together work. This is literally Tyler Force Studio album. Huge step up to Cherry Bomb. Oh my god, this shit is fucking beautiful, bro. This is literally a work of art. It would make you like want more from Tyler, bro. Which unfortunately, which what we got. This definitely was a huge comeback from Cherry Bomb. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, this was a huge comeback for Shit Bomb. This is really a good put together album, bro. 911 is definitely my favorite Tyler song on this album. Look, bro, this shit got songs like Who That Boy, Boredom, See You Again. Y'all know what this is going to, man. Y'all already know what this is going to. This is literally S tier material, bro. Like, Tyler could not really lose with this album, bro. Like, this was a huge major comeback. May 17, 2019, Tyler will drop his fifth studio album, Igor. Igor is literally a 10 out of 10. Without no question, this is a 10 out of 10. No skills. Literally, like, even Tyler said, like, no skills. It's definitely, like, one of his best in his catalog. It's not the best, because we ain't on that yet. This is literally the best in his catalog. Even Tyler saying that this low-key was a watered-down flower boy. This shit is gas, nigga. You got songs like Earth Crate, Igor theme. New Magic Wand. A boy is a gun. You know what this shit going to, man. Another S tier album, man. This shit is S tier God material, bro. This is literally Tyler in his fucking bag, bro. Like, I can't sugarcoat this, bro. This is literally Tyler in his bag, bro. This was a well put together album, bro. Like, Tyler was just literally going off on this fucking album, bro. Call me if you get lost. It's the sixth studio album by Tyler that will drop June 25th, 2021. This is Tyler's best album, no question. No question. Like, no question. If you think otherwise, you get the f out of this video, bro. This is literally Tyler's best album to me. He was literally snapping on this album. No skips. Like, Tyler 3 album run was actually crazy. Like, from Flower Boy to Igor to this, like, that run is absolutely should be studied in fucking museums, bro. It this was really a good put together album, bro. Tyler was really snapping his ass off on this album, bro. He was going off. You got songs like What's Your Name with NBA Youngboy. I don't know why everybody was making it seem like Youngboy and Tyler was gonna be a an odd collab, which Youngboy fucking ran that whole beat. You got Lemon Head with 42 Dub Corso, which is my personally favorite Tyler song like ever. Juggernaut with Lil Uzi, Pharrell, this is top 10. This is going to S tier, of course, but I feel like this one had to beat Flower Boy and Igor. I feel like we gonna have to put this before all of it. S tier, nigga, this is S tier material. Way, probably Tyler best album in his whole catalog. This literally was a well put together album, but DJ Drama really brought this back by like, all the screaming, I know it got annoying sometimes, but all the screaming that DJ Drama did on this album made it, he just really brought the album together. It felt like the Gangsta Grills in the 2000s, bro. And the deluxe that he just dropped lately, it, it make it even better than what the hell it is, bro. This is literally Tyler is fucking bad, bro. Like, it, it just really Tyler is bad. And that wraps up all Tyler the Creator studio albums, man. Like, if you enjoyed this video, man, give this video a thumbs up, man. If y'all want more videos like this, man, let me know, man. Tyler the Creator, man. Definitely somebody that's like a, a just a genius, bro. He's a genius, bro. He's like, he could really be up there with Kanye if you really think about it. I genuinely, in my honest opinion, think Tyler can't top this album. Call me if you get lost. That's just me personally, though. If you like it, I don't give a fuck what you think. But hey man, if you enjoyed this video, man, give this video a thumbs up, man. I got way, way, way more content coming soon. But the ideas I got in the next near future, 
gas, bro. This just was a quick little video to upload something for y'all, man. I just felt like uploading this for y'all. We got a little brief video of what's going on, man. You know how this goes, man. If you like this video, man, give the video a thumbs up, bro. Just hit that subscribe button. Like, literally, no, like, literally. Stop what you're doing right now. Hit that subscribe button. I ain't wasting no time, man. Look, YouTube, bro. Please don't block this video, bro. Y'all blocked my last video. Please don't block this video, bro. Like, y'all gotta realize, I'm just a college student trying to provide for my family, bro. I have a son. Y'all trying to provide for my family. All right, man, for real, though, if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. And yeah, squat.